In this practical example, you will parameterize an open-end wrench project. Let's apply geometric and dimensional constraints, as well as create linked dimensions in order to automate our editing process. Open the file in the basic layout structure. First, you insert the required geometric constraints to define the part shape. Then, the first tool applied is the coincident tool. This constraint will keep all entities joined, no matter what changes are made to any part of an entity. Enable the tool and then select the Auto Constraint option. Let's now select the entire layout and confirm the action. The next step is to insert the concentric constraint between the arcs. After that, apply the tangent constraint to the existing curves and to the open parts of the wrench as well. Define a horizontal relationship on the center line and also on one of the lines that correspond to the wrench. You also insert a symmetric constraint on the wrench body, curves and tool openings. Let's also apply equality relationships to uniform curves. To enhance the viewing of the layout, let's click the Hide All to hide all geometric relationships. So now geometric constraints are inserted. So let's apply dimensional constraints at this time. Begin on the open ends of the wrench. After the linear tool is enabled, select these two points. Let's insert 18 mm for this value. On the other hand, enable the linear tool and specify the expression as D1 plus 1 and at this time define the value. This way, the wrench opening on this side will always be 1 mm larger than the diameter on that end. The external curve diameters will always be double the opening diameter on both sides of the tool. So, the wrench body width is equal to the largest inside part diameter. Then, to conclude, define the length between the centers to be equal to twice the smallest opening diameter. Now, after all dimensions have been inserted and related, we will test the layout to analyze how it behaves. Let's change the D1 diameter to 5. See how all the dimensions will be automatically updated. So in this practical example, we have learned to parameterize a tool layout, an open-end wrench, which is common practice in our daily work.